Liz and today I'm doing a tag video for you guys. I got tagged by Mommy's Simple Life. I will put her name right here on the screen for you guys and also I will link her channel down below. Um, I got tagged to do the Thanksgiving tag so I'm really excited because there's just so much to be grateful for always. So I'm really excited. I have the questions right here on my phone and there's 10 questions. 10 questions <laughs> and I will be doing the 10 questions obviously and then I will be tagging some of you if you are subscribed to me I will be tagging you down below so be sure to check out the description to see if I've tagged you um, but without further ado let's get into one of the questions and let's get on to so the, the first question video. is what is your favorite Thanksgiving side dish this is a good question because I just feel like there's so many and it's really hard to pick like a favorite. Um, forever mashed potatoes have been like my favorite side dish for Thanksgiving. My mom makes the best mashed potatoes ever and I have been privileged to actually learn the recipe and I will link the video down below. I actually put the recipe um, in one of my Mommy Monday videos so I'll link it down below but literally best mashed potatoes ever. Um, the recipe was my grandma's recipe, and then my grandma passed it down to my mom, and my mom passed it down to me. So I'm really, really happy about the Thanksgiving mashed potatoes. But I have to say that stuffing has become one of my new favorites. Um, it wasn't before because I didn't like olives, like I, my mom put olives in it. But she's been doing it now without the olives. So I really have been liking stuffing. So I'm in between stuffing and <laughs> I'm in between stuffing and mashed potatoes. The next question is what is your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Um, so I would say maybe pumpkin pie. Because uh, obviously I we just don't eat pie all the time. Unless you're at like Marie Callender's every day or you work at Marie Callender, <laughs> you probably eat pie on the daily, but Mmm, I'm thinking pumpkin pie. Uh, there was one year that my aunt made this really amazing um, like cheesecake thing, and that was good. Um, and then last year we had Thanksgiving at our house, and I really enjoyed um, the strawberries, and we dipped them in chocolate. Those were like my favorite. Um, but I feel like that's not really a Thanksgiving dessert. So I'm gonna go with pumpkin pie. Okay. What? does your ideal Thanksgiving outfit look like? Um, well, obviously not this. I just wore this so that it's like, you know, really festive for you guys. But um, if I'm going to like my side of the family, my side of the family tends to be more gussied up. They like to dress up more. Um, so if I'm going to my side of the family for Thanksgiving, I would wear like a nice dress or um, like a nice top and a coat, some boots obviously um, but if I am going to like my husband's side of the family I'll just wear like some jeans a cozy sweater and probably boots regardless um, and either way I love to curl my hair it doesn't matter if it's gonna be some kind of a special occasion I like to curl my hair so curled hair boots either a nice dress or a cozy sweater question is what is your best Thanksgiving memory um, I I don't know if I would consider it my best because I feel like every Thanksgiving is different and regardless like I said before there's so much to be grateful for in general so um, I'm just gonna say two of the most memorable things that um, big like Thanksgiving memories that I have definitely my number one is making mashed potatoes with my mom um, just because it was it's been like a tradition every Thanksgiving since I was 10 to be in the kitchen with her um, hearing her get up at all kinds of hours of the night you know while she makes the turkey and then waking up in the morning and like oh you know help me make the mashed potatoes and peel the potatoes and we just were there for hours and we're just together and um, before she used to work so much that it was like that was our real like special time like it was our quality time like I knew for sure I was gonna wake up in the morning and she was gonna be there and we were gonna spend some time together in the kitchen so that's definitely my number one favorite thing about Thanksgiving time 
is cooking with my mom. And my second one was actually having Thanksgiving at our house um, last year, which was, it was just so much fun. I had my mother-in-law's family and I had my mom over and and it was just really fun. I had everybody, um, I printed out some turkeys and I put crayons on the table and I had everybody color a turkey and then I had one of the kids pick the winner um, and obviously we just gave like whoever won a nice little prize and then I also played a game, we played like um, Loteria which is like kind of like bingo but like Mexican bingo um, and then there was another game, what was the other game? We just, we played really fun games and it was kind of really cool and it was fun to like set up our house and put like a bunch of food on the bar and my husband and I pulled together and we made all kinds of desserts and it was just, it was really nice and it was fun because we had everybody over and everybody had a really good time so those are my two favorite like Thanksgiving memories that I have. My least favorite Thanksgiving dish. Um, okay, least favorite, least favorite. Um, well, if I don't, if I don't like something, I genuinely don't eat it. Uh, but before, my least favorite one was the stuffing. But ever since I kind of like told my mom, oh, I really don't like the olives, they've been taken out. So stuffing has become my favorite now. Um, I've never been really into like yams. Not everybody makes them, but I just, I don't like, like, sweet potatoes or yams. Is yams and sweet potato the same thing? I don't know. Comment, comment down below. I'll Google it if I have to. Um, but I don't like yams. Um, and I did try cranberry sauce, I think, last year or the year before, and that was all right. I never ventured the cranberry uh, sauce before until, like, now that I'm older. Uh, but yeah, probably like sweet potato or like yams or whatever, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, pretty much that. Hey, do you have a quirky Thanksgiving tradition? Um, I don't know what exactly would you mean by quirky. Um, maybe like a silly kind of tradition? We don't really have a silly tradition. Um, basically, Two traditions that always happens is again <laughs> making mashed potatoes with my mom, and then also um, we would like to stand around the table and kind of go one by one and say what we're thankful for. Um, that changed um, this year that we had it, last year that we had it in our house. What I did was um, I made like a little box, I saw this on Pinterest, I made a little box and it was a little turkey, and then Everybody was able to um, write down what they were thankful for, and I just read them out loud. I told everybody, "Don't you don't have to put your name or anything on it," and I just read them out loud. And once I read it, everybody was like, "Oh, that that's a good thing to be thankful for," and and that was basically it. Um, but we don't like do a chicken dance or something like that. I've I've seen that in like some videos, like that's a Thanksgiving uh, tradition or like making your best um, turkey noise, I think that's hilarious, but but no, we don't really have anything that's quirky, I would say. Number seven is where do you and your family usually celebrate Thanksgiving? So this has changed obviously when I was younger, I was always with my mom and then everybody would either come to, pretty much everybody would come to my mom's house because my mom's house is pretty big so we kind of all would meet up here. Um, but now that I'm older and married, <laughs> uh, we kind of spend most of Thanksgivings at my husband's family's house. Um, and then last year it was cool because everybody came to our house. So it was kind of like, a, it's kind of like a toss up, I guess. This year I'm going to be going to my mother-in-law's and I'm hoping to also be able to go to my uncle's house. Um, but. For sure I'm going to my mother-in-law's because grandpa is down from Mexico and it is a big deal because he's never spent Thanksgiving with us before. So I'm excited to do that. I'm going to take all of my <laughs> decor with me and I'm going to be helping out with that. Um, I'm also in charge of mashed potatoes and the stuffing which is funny because that's all I've been talking about this video, in this video. Um, 
But I also am hoping that I will be able to go over to my uncle's house. It's their first Thanksgiving in their new little house. So obviously they're very excited and I'm excited because it's cute like that they're excited and I know the feeling because last year we had it at our house. So I'm really excited. Um, so I, I mean there's not a typical place that I celebrate. It's just bouncing around. <laughs> what do you love the most about Thanksgiving? I don't even feel like I should answer this because I've literally said it like 20 times in the video. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to say something different. Um, I'm going to say one of my favorite things is obviously getting together as a family and sometimes you don't always get to do that and just being able to actually sit down and have a conversation with your family, have a good meal with your family, be able to laugh and talk about stuff, catch up on things, um, and not just be like sitting at the couch or sitting at your bar or wherever and kind of not really connecting. Um, I think like Thanksgiving and Christmas are times where you actually really want to connect with everybody and like see people's reactions and I don't know, I, I really like that it's actually real family time. Like family is just, it's how I've been brought up and that's, that's so important to me is really being together as a family. What DP you think... Okay, okay, this is obviously a typo. Okay, <laughs> I was like, what is DP? You guys with your... all this kind of slang. I didn't even know what TFS meant until I googled it. I'm so old. Okay, so what do you think has changed most since the first Thanksgiving? Uh, maybe something that has changed is that we don't necessarily grow everything for ourselves. We actually go and buy the things, like we buy our turkey, we buy corn, we buy stuff to make mashed potatoes. Maybe that. We don't harvest our things. And if you guys do, that would be so interesting. Please comment down below if you know anybody that like harvests their like stuff to make their meals. That would be so cool. Anyways. I think maybe that's probably one of the only things that I'm going to be able to really think about. We don't harvest our food, we go and get our food. Everything's like basically just handed to us. So we're very privileged in that sense. Last question is, what are you thankful for? Uh, but please also answer with me in the comments down below. Whatever you'd like to answer, what are you thankful for the most this year? Um, I am always thankful for my family. That is the number one thing that I am always thankful for. Um, also, I'm thankful for this day. I'm thankful that I was able to get up in the morning and do what I have to do. Um, also, I'm, I'm very thankful for the roof over my head, the food on our table, uh, the clothes on my back, the shoes on my feet, um, just everything and anything that is just basically handed to me and um, so many people don't get that kind of privilege so I'm really really thankful for all the privileges that I have in my life and also um, I'm thankful for the cold the weather that's been happening right now it's been nice um, hmm, I'm thankful for you guys I'm really excited that like I get to talk to you guys and I get to watch all your videos and I'm thankful for all my subscribers, you guys are awesome. And guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please be sure to comment down below what are you thankful for this year. And if you want to answer any of the other questions in the comment section below, check out the description box. All the questions will be down there for you guys. And if you are subscribed to me, please, once again, check the description box to see if I have tagged you. And obviously let me know if you guys have done the tag or are going to do the tag so that I can also watch your guys' videos because I love to watch your guys' videos too. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys have happy holidays and an awesome Thanksgiving and that you guys eat mashed potatoes because how many times have I said that in this, in this video? I'm going to go back, I'm going to count it, and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put the number of shame of the word mashed potatoes right here for you guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Like tomorrow. Bye! And please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you have not already, subscribe. The button is right around the bottom somewhere here. 
It is a red button. <laughs> Click it.